summer 2023. Oh, forget that. It's summer forever. Forever, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> the one you talked about, the one you dreamed about, the one you waited for. It's time to wear the outfits. However you look, however you feel, it's time to wear the outfit. You are worthy, so break it out of the closet and put it on. And you know what I'm talking about. Welcome to Summer Solstice with Emmanuel. Here with me in the garden is Olu. <laughs> Hi, Emmanuel. Olu's come, Baba. Emmanuel. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How I'm you feeling? Good. I'm great. How you, are you are looking very summery. Thank you. Thank with you. With the thighs out. Legs out, suns out. Wow, sun's out. wow, wow. Okay. This is how you do it. <laughs> also, please don't be fooled. This, this is camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my, this is not a, an accurate representation. Can you imagine? Look at me. I'm actually Yeah, like, you're, you're fully, fully, I'm clothed, fully covered. Fully covered. It's fully clothed. a surprise. So let me tell you one thing. One thing about me, I'm dynamic. <laughs> dynamic. <laughs> listen. Um, never let them know your plans. Never let, listen. When they're like, oh, he's going to wear something. No. Switch it. No. I make the rules here. I <laughs> am the captain. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. 100%. Summer is here. Listen, I know that you love the summer as much as I do. I do. And so when I came up with the, when we came up with the show and I knew we were going to do this, I knew you had to be one of the guests. Thanks. Because you love the summertime. I, I, yeah. I mean, so you're also a bit of a, of a chef, if you will. <laughs> you know, he is very skilled in pastries and um, there's almost nothing you can't brulee. <laughs> You, it's it's right. so impressive how you do it. And my creme brulee is... And uh, your creme brulee is... Uh, it's it's immaculate. quite remarkable, if I do say so myself. But I know like the summertime is a time when you typically would host your friends to like a meal, yeah. you open up your home <laughs> yeah. to us. So talk to me a bit about that, about building community, kind of around the dinner table, around food. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, food food brings everyone together, I think. Listen, okay? And good food is even better. Yeah. Um, and we're in, we're in Indiana, we, we make our fun, we, we build our community. And that's yeah. one thing I'm like super grateful yeah. to Indiana about. They taught me, you know, not the place, but the people. Mm. And people gather around food and the dinner table. So I like to host, I like to invite you over, invite <laughs> people over, cook for them, have yeah. them bring food. We all eat, we drink, we laugh, we just make memories. Yeah. And that's something I do a lot in the summer. We can do it inside, in the dining table, outside, outside. at the barbecue. Yeah. So food is, is great. It's important, yeah. yeah. And it's not, the, it's not the place, it's the people. That's, that, exactly. I mean, put down a t-shirt. <laughs> Still speaking about food, perfect mm. segue. If, if joy was a flavor, what flavor would it be? That's a... It's an interesting one. Take us away. Take, take us, you away. Take us away. On my imagine, mm -hmm. <laughs> imaginary taste. Yes. You know, meal has, you know, starter, main course, dessert. Yeah. So we're going to do sweet Ooh. and I'll end there. But okay, I'll, okay, start, okay. I'll start with like a, ni a nice, a nice healthy salad. So you have a fresh, a fresh start to the meal. Okay. I, I personally enjoy ribs. I make good ribs. Uh -huh. So a nice meaty, meaty main. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to top it off with some ice cream. It's a nice sweet finish. Uh -huh. And that's joy for me. In oh. fact, I'm getting hungry just <laughs> thinking about that. Too. You guys, let me tell you something. Um, I'm also just realizing we, you didn't introduce yourself to the people. Ooh. So we're going to get to that. But right. before Olu introduces himself, you can already tell that he is a Nigerian man. <laughs> because I asked him to tell us a flavor Ooh. that joy reminds him of and Olu said uh-uh I'll do you one better I'll give you a three course meal Absolutely. I mean I mean I mean I mean so it's joy go ahead me. go ahead and tell the people <laughs> who you are well people um I am <laughs> Olu or Olu Agbemiga Mabogunje people call me Benga people call me Olu depending on what your tongue can handle yeah yeah um I uh, I am an engineer <laughs> by trade, but I do a lot of other things. I like adventure, I like sports, I yeah. like travel, I like food, cooking, and I like Emmanuel. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Olu is always trying to do one extreme sport or the other. And I just, I, I, I mean, you know what? More grease, 
to your elbows. And, also, yeah. I don't think I've ever told you this, but I really enjoy how your name rolls off the tongue. Yeah. I'm, I, I particularly love like names that, I'd seen this quote somewhere many years ago that said something about giving your children names that mm. demand the full use of the tongue. <laughs> and the writer said, I don't trust people who don't make an effort to say my name correctly. And I don't know why, it was, just, it was so poetic. And something about hearing you say your full name and your last name just yeah. reminded me of that. Um, Thanks. So that, that just brought me some joy. So thank you. Well, thank, thank you for you. sharing that. Um, so speaking of extreme sports and just <laughs> being an adrenaline junkie, yeah. I know that biking is something you enjoy a lot. <laughs> I mean, look at the legs. Hey. Look! Look at the look! Look at look at the, look at the legs. <laughs> um, you know, I know you enjoy biking a ton, and we were, yeah. we were talking about this briefly a couple of days ago. It's something that brings you a lot of joy. It does. Your father, who I know you adore, mm. and who you look so much like, I, mm -hmm. um, who's unfortunately no longer with us right now, mm. also was such a biker, and that was something you both shared. Talk to us about navigating something that is so deeply joy bringing to you mm -hmm. but also has like you know the memory of this human that you just adored yeah my dad loved to cycle it's probably one of his favorite things um so much so that that's 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 how he that's how he left us uh so for me cycling it's it's where I get to be closest to him for me it's like just one-on-one -on -one, me the road and it just feels like He's there with me, cycling the miles, cycling the distance, pushing me along. Yeah. Um, so it's it's almost almost a form of meditation for me where one, I get to be with him, two, I get to work out, I get to be physically active, yeah. I get to explore, I love adventure, yeah. I like finding new things and it's just something that reminds me of him and I, I've also met a bunch of people like that you know I love meeting people you do love meeting people yeah um and yeah so cycling cycling for me is just it's it's a it's a bucket of joy it's so many things you can pick out of it yeah yeah so yeah well that's that, that was a beautiful answer thank you and uh, I'm sorry that he passed thanks and mm -hmm. thank you for saying we could talk about it because I think that is something that I think a lot of people might find strength in because I think summer is also about transitions. This show is also about talking about the beauty in transitions and I think that too is a transitionary sort of, it's a newness, like this is a new, isn't this your first summer without him? It, 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 it is in and it's actually ways. my first time speaking about it uh, in public to be honest because this is going wherever it's going but yeah many people don't even know uh, but yeah, my first summer without him, so it's, a, it's, it's tough. Well, thank you for trusting this show to be the place that you talk about that. Um, and I hope you feel safe. I, I guess you do. <laughs> um, so thank you for sharing that. We're really mm. beautiful. Not to take us <laughs> further, flung away, <laughs> yeah. but um, you are, in addition to being like just an incredible chef, I think you are just such a deeply creative person. Mm. Um, what? Olu did not mention is that he is a prolific photographer. I mean, some of my most incredible pictures that exist in the world today were taken by this man. So talk to me about some of your creative pursuits this summer. Like what, <laughs> what, 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 what things are we trying? What creative pursuits? What are you, what are you up to, Olu? <laughs> what am I What's up giving? to? Um, <laughs> although the intro is great, photography, <laughs> I love it. I feel like thinking about, first thing that came to mind to me is Dance. Dance. You knew it was coming. <laughs> I love dance. Um, I like salsa, bachata, merengue, cumbia. Please get to Kizomba the dance. Thank is you. my favorite. Uh -huh. um, and I have a few like festivals lined up. I'm going uh -huh. to Detroit yeah. for some. I'm going to maybe I'm thinking about Austin. Yeah. But dancing, dancing is nice. It's also another way to meet people, mm -hmm. you know, connection. It's I'm, the word is escaping me, but it's great. It's euphoric. It's euphoric. I think when you feel yourself connected to the rhythms and to connected to music, you almost feel transported. Yeah. And I, I just came back from New York and I remember dancing. I was I was out with my my siblings and some friends, and I was dancing and it felt like for a small like for a small small moment yeah. I almost it was like I was transported to a different place. I didn't remember what happened in those few minutes and those few seconds where I felt like I was just hitting the hardest, you know, <laughs> like the, the beat was, and I was just, I was, it was, it was, it was euphoric. It was. Word. So I completely understand um, the, the feeling about dance. And I know I'm always giving you grief about dance, <laughs> but it really, I, I completely understand and I completely get it. And I think it's, 
I think it's fantastic. Yeah, um, thanks. So when you look back mm. on summer 2023, mm. what are three adjectives that you hope you are Ooh. able... I know, I know. What are three adjectives that you hope you are able to use to describe this summer? Wow, um, three adjectives. I pick my words, so this is going to be difficult. Um, <laughs> but three adjectives, I would say joyous. Hey, then... <laughs> joyous. Uh -huh. Adventurous. Adventurous. Fulfilling. Fulfilling. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I don't know if those are adjectives though. Well, cause... from, I think they are. Great. And from all the conversations we've had thus far, you are very much on track. Fantastic. Very much on track thank to, um, to have that kind of summer. And only before you leave the show, I just want to, I want to give you your flowers and I want to say thank you for coming on. But also thank Thanks, you man. for supporting all my creative endeavors over the years. I really did mean it when I say that, when I said that some of my best pictures in this world that I have, you took them. <laughs> and it's just because you've always just embraced my ideas. I've come and been like, hey, I want to try this. And you just say, yeah, when, you know? <laughs> and through all kinds of weather, all kinds of situations, yeah. you've shown up for me. And I think that is also why I wanted to do this show with people that I know, because I feel joy in this community and your friendship has brought me a lot of joy. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you so Emmanuel. Much. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Bye. And to everyone who's watching, whatever transitions you might be going through in your life right now, whatever flavor they take, however many courses the meal may be, <laughs> even if there's some, some grief, some change sprinkled in there, I hope that you see the beauty in the sum of its parts. I hope that you see the beauty in the totality of all that you are and all that you are here to experience. And I hope that this summer leaves you feeling joyous, adventurous, and fulfilled. I'll catch you on the next episode of Summer Solstice with Emmanuel. God bless you. God bless me. God bless all of us. Peace.